All right, guys, back with another edition of Haas Repair. So I just bought this. Um, it says VF1 on the front. I think somebody put that sticker. The tag on the back says VF0. So um, two issues that were known when I bought it. The the lube, way lube pump was, uh, the little motor was bad in it. So I ordered the rebuild kit from Haas um, on that and got that fixed up. Now the way lube is, is working properly. But the second issue was in the, uh, the shot pin. Um, when you fired the machine up, uh, the orientation of the spindle, it would never find, it, it does, but it takes a couple of times to find the orientation to make a tool change to line up the cogs so that the tool is in line and can make the tool change. Um, so I called Haas, they said it's the shop pin, that's $665 or whatever. Um, I got online and I checked, um, just practical machine S and CNC zone and, you know, some, some stuff there. So a couple of guys said it could be the shop pin, um, could be the wheel. Um, and on my case, it is the wheel. So I'm going to come up here and show you guys, um, the wheel. So that little wheel right there, you see how it's all worn out. There's not a tight edge on it. So that little wheel allows, the shop pin is right behind it. If you can see that round thing as it comes around, it's supposed to go in there and click and go in and stop the, the spindle. What happens is it just bumps right back out because it's wore out. So I'm gonna, instead of buying parts, I'm gonna attempt to fix this. Uh, I'm going to TIG weld it up and then uh, hand massage it all back in and see if that works. I'll make a following video to see if it does work. And then if it does, it'll save me um, some cash. So anyways, I'll uh, stop it here and see if we can get this thing fixed up. All right, I got the shop pin uh, wheel off and you can see how wore out this thing is. Um, this is the first time I've ever taken it off. I didn't really research it, um, but I got a pretty good knowledge of mechanical stuff. So um, I noticed that um, these four holes were the ones that were holding this thing tight. Um, and then these two right here are jack bolts. So I figured that it separated. It was swedged together. And I saw that it had these open slots in it in the side. So I was like, okay, this thing's sledged, uh, swedged. Um, so if you could look at it, it does have a taper. So um, what happens is when you suck these four bolts up, this thing just, this thing pulls up and it basically smashes like a collet onto the motor shaft. Um, there was no cog, there's no pin, there's no... Uh, um keyway or anything like that it's just it's just oriented so i marked a couple of lines on here which i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to reorient the spindle and the control um when i get it back together but just want to give you guys a quick um rundown of how this thing works and uh, with the jack bolts um Unfortunately, this was placed, one of the jack bolts was placed in the in the cog, so it kind of marred up the bolt a little bit trying to get it out, so I stopped. Um, but it was lined up here like that. Like that. So I'm going to try to, when I put this back together, I'm going to try to do it so that it's maybe out of the space or whatever, but... Um, I don't know if it, if that's possible or not, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at it. But anyways, this thing, this thing we didn't want to release with the with the two jack bolts. So um, I applied a little bit of heat to the um, this portion of the part, and then I lightly went around the the opening in here with a small chisel, um, not banging real hard, just kind of lightly, kind of kept on working it, working it, working it tightening up the bolts back and forth and working it, working it, working it. Um, applied a little bit more heat to see if I could swell this part a little bit. Um, then it finally broke loose. So um, just take your time with it, guys. Um, and 
Okay, so I got the corners TIG welded back up, and I just kind of hand filed everything into shape. So um, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reassemble it and uh, see what see what um, happens. So, anyways, like I said, I TIG welded the corners back in, hand filed, and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm installing this thing, and um, I didn't check the belt alignment between the height from here to there and uh, here to there on it originally. But I noticed that uh, when, I when I went to put it back together, I just put a straight edge across this, this, this bottom lip and that bottom lip. And this was high, like way high. And you can see where the thing was riding. That shiny spot is where the uh, shot pin was riding. Um, so when I went to put it back together, I put a straight edge on there and I noticed that that was high. So um, it wore out the bottom, you know, the bottom corner of this uh, wheel right here. So I put a straight edge in there and I lined it and it dropped, it dropped this down quite a bit. Um, and honestly, it dropped down so far that I may not have even had to weld those up because it's going to get into a good area again. So um, I think that's correct. Um, I put the belt on and I hand turned the spindle uh, for a little bit to make sure that the belt didn't do anything crazy or ride high or low or anything like that. And it's not. so. Um, in hindsight, now that I see what's going on, um, I could have probably just dropped the wheel down a little bit and it would have been in a good section of the um, shot pin wheel. So anyways, kind of well, that's fixed now, but um, you can see the shot pin back there uh, when it goes in there. So now it's, it's if you can see it, it's, it's higher, it's not in the shiny area anymore. So, anyways, just thought I would kind of add that in there. All right, guys, I think I got this thing working. Um, took me a little bit uh, to orient the spindle. I looked online and YouTube and uh, got a couple of guys' uh, videos and stuff, but for some reason, this is, I think, a little bit older control or something uh, versus like that one over there. Um, and it didn't didn't uh, what the steps didn't work out for me right so I couldn't see uh, the numbers on the rotation of the spindle and all that stuff so I uh, what I did was I did catch a, a little tip from a guy he put a he put a block in there in its vise tra I trammed it in and then I brought it I brought the Z axis down so the dogs were on the back side um, and I brought it up really easy. Then I put a dial indicator right here, so uh, a five tenths dial indicator. So as soon as it bumped up against there, the dial indicator moved, and I knew I was there. So um, dial indicator on the front side brought the cogs up to the back side. Um, as soon as the dial indicator moved, I knew I was at zero. So that's horizontal um, or in the x-axis of the tool change deal. So then I went up top. Uh, um, in the uh, MDI, I hit MDI and then Orient and Spindle, and that keeps the um, the shot, uh, shot pin engaged if you leave it there. So what I did was I had to break the two pieces apart again, and then I the shot pin back there was engaged, so I had to orient this um, correctly, and then I sucked them all back tight. And then the so now that the the spindle was in the correct orientation in the x-axis along parallel to the x-axis and then um, that was in the dog or the wheel the shot pin wheel um, it was engaged so that kept everything lined and then I just used the four bolts on each side um, and then I and I torqued it all back down so I just made a tool change and it seems to be um, good Everything seems to be working. The shot pin is working correctly. 
Um, so I'm gonna go MDI uh, forward. So it goes one click. That. And then I'll hit reverse, ATC ref, uh, reverse, and the spindle will turn, and it'll click once the shot pin comes out, and it stops. So what was happening before is it would keep on turning and turning and turning until the shot pin um, would actually catch. Um, but it, sometimes it alarmed out, sometimes it didn't. But now it just goes around one time, catches, and makes a tool change. So, um, I didn't spend any money on this. I just took it all apart. Um, I showed you how the shot pin wheel was wore out. Um, so I welded that back up and um, just reassembled everything and it seems like it's working. So, um, sometimes you just gotta research when you call Haas, um, they just wanna sell you parts. So. Um, the part that I was going to purchase was $665. I didn't purchase any parts. I just repaired it. And I think we're going to be good. So, um, anyways, that's it, guys. I'm just going to button this thing back up, put the sheet metal back on. And uh, that was my fix for the uh, shot pin or the spindle orientation alarm. So, all right, guys. Hope that was informative. And uh, like I said, I'm a rookie. I own my own business. I try to do as much repairs on my machines as possible. When it when I when I can't do it myself, then I call in my guys over at um, CNC Alliance, um, and they're in the LA area. And um, if if the job's too big for me, then I will call them in. Um, if it's not, then I try to do it myself. And this time I was able to do it myself, so I saved a few bucks. Now well, it's time to get this thing going and uh, let's put some, let's make some chips. Alright guys, thanks. See ya.